Hey, hey, Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? Well, I'm finally back with an arty fun Friday process video for you. Hallelujah. And I am just do doing an art journal page. Um, now, this one has been sitting here to be done for weeks. But I'm using some of my Dilutions paints, which I am very, very much in love with at the moment. Um, I'm using some ones that are old to my stash, as I've just stocked up, up on some new ones at a recent Flutterby retreat. So I'm using the Cherry Pie, Calypso Teal, and I think it's Funky Fuchsia, the three Dilutions paints I have here. Um, and I'm thinking that I might have got some inspiration here from this one. Potentially, maybe I'm thinking some Inky Quill inspo as well as maybe the lovely Lisa Oxley inspiration. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty certain because this one, as I said, is weeks old. Um, I think it might have come from there. So, yes. <clears throat> so, I'm just using a really wide um, brush and just sort of randomly not really placing some, as you can see, basically the same length as the brush, or width as the brush, sorry, strokes down my art journal page. It is a, oh, what do you call it? In normal stock standard art journal page, art journal, can't think of the, <laughs> is it Ranger, art journal, oh, I'm having a very, it's been a very long week and I'm trying to get this done very quickly in between children in showers and dinner being cooked so this can maybe potentially go up actually on a Friday, so he's hoping. So as I said, I'm doing the three colours here. Um, I do have some baking paper you can see in between my page, there is another um, page done underneath so the baking paper if you're new and sort of thinking what the hell is she doing here uh, no I'm not doing some cooking on my page I am actually just making sure that it doesn't sort of bleed through or go on to the other page as much as possible so I have done all of that tried to smooth it as much as possible and now I'm just going to get my stencil here and it is a flutter by design stencil um, I can't think of the collection. It might be perfect, beautiful, gorgeous, flawsome, I'm thinking. It's the flawsome collection, I think. And I'm doing the wet wipe technique, which didn't work 100% because the wipe wasn't as wet as it should have been. Um, but it's where you sort of run it over the paint, the wet paint, and it's sort of um, kind of, yeah, what do you call it? Clears the paint a little bit. I can't think. My God. Anyway, you can see what it's done there. It's not a resist. Anyway, moving on, you can see what it's done. So now I've got the white linen dilutions paint and I'm going to get another stencil. Now what I have done is I'm going to use an ink dauber and I have dabbed a little bit off to the side on my mat which has a piece of thick um, paper covering my mat to keep it protected. Um, and I've just smoosh that around that paint around a little bit just to make sure it's not too thick otherwise it bleeds through the stencil um, too much and you get a real mushy effect underneath and not a real clear outline so I'm just using this really random um, placing a really random pattern with these glasses I had a bit of an idea of what I wanted to do with this art journal page and what what sort of technique I wanted to use and what uh, embellishments I was going to use because I'd brought at a craft fair a few months ago the little die cut you saw there it is a let me tell you it's on my trolley I think right here in front of me where are you it is oh it's here come out come out it is a dilutions creative diary die cut from ranger so that's the picture of the girl with the big glasses. So I sort of went with that big, that theme with the big glasses and that sort of hipster kind of look. Um, as well as these cutouts, you can see here these collage words. Um, and they're all different phrases that came in the pack. And I absolutely freaking love them. So that's the sort of look I wanted to go for. And in the end, I've absolutely loved this art journal page. It's randomness, it's funkiness. And it's just, it's bright and it's just different to me, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm now just using some matte gel medium here just to use as a bit of a glue 
and sticking my bits and pieces now. Now this is the first time I think I've used the matte gel medium in my diary, in my um, art journal and I did have to play around with it a little bit just to get it to work the way I wanted it to to really adhere to the paint. Um, I'm guessing it's all just trial and error for me and this is what this art journal page was really about for me. It was really testing out my paints and layer and using collage pieces and the matte gel medium and the die cut and everything like that and making it all sort of come together without it too being having to be too cohesive um, like you would a scrapbook page which is what I normally do um, so just getting some tissue paper now ripping bits and pieces off that um, now the oh, the heart tissue paper is just one from my local reject shop which is here in Oz What am I doing here? Oh, sorry. Girls are fighting in the background. <laughs> As I said, I'm trying to squeeze this in so it will save and be uploaded all for Friday at some point tomorrow, hopefully. This tissue paper is just some I had in a kit. Um, I think it was a Colour Blast kit, actually. Um, if anyone's familiar with those. And it's just got some scripty font on it. And as I said, it was just another random piece. It just was sitting there and I thought, yep, why not? And that's all I'm doing here is just, as I said, no set plan was the, pl was the plan with this page. I just wanted to try out a few different techniques that I hadn't really given a go before and I cracked open the matte gel medium to really give this a go on this page. It's new and I just wanted to try out this technique. Um, and, and, it, and it worked. And as I said, I have loved how this page came together. I'm now using a paint marker to go around a white thick outline around my die cut in the middle of my girl there. And then I'm just going to splatter it. And these splatters came out absolutely freaking perfectly. And my page is done. It was short. It was sweet. I probably the best thing to it was drying time and deciding what I was going to use. Um, and that's it guys so thank you so much for watching sorry for my little bibble babble and not thinking clearly but yeah any questions feel free to ask but i love this art journal page it's my favorite to to thus far in my book um yeah some close-up shots are coming up and um don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye